Hello traders, in this video we're going to go over some of our favorite supply and demand setups. Uh, so first things first, let's go ahead and walk you through the strategy. Uh, you want to go ahead and start here on a daily time frame and then identify the trend here or 60 minute again whichever yeah, is your preference and you can clearly see that as of now the trend is certainly up and moving higher uh, you can go ahead and confirm this on a 60 minute time frame you go ahead down to a 60 minute you can see you have some pretty good supplied zones here uh, this demand zone if you're looking for confluence you have some pretty good uh, resistance turn support there so pretty good confluence there nice demand zone Again, flag pattern, nice demand zone there, that overhead supply zone that it price is currently running into. It's a pretty wide zone, as you can see here. All right, so you'd want to wait for some price action there. And see, so again, you can clearly see that the trend is up at this point. Go down to a five minute, start looking to execute here on a trade. And you're looking, you have a nice movement here right before this big break right through here. So if I were to go ahead and draw a support or resistance line here you can see we had a nice break here and then the nice demand zone right through there so right now I would be looking for a pullback from here into this zone for a potential trade got some nice confluence there now again for old support and resistance if you're gonna go ahead and counter trend uh, what you would do is you would look for a you know you want to be in a range type of market we aren't in a range type of market here uh, so this would be a, certainly a counter trend trade but not really following our strategy our favorite strategy of rules as far as um, trading against the trend now this the trend is going higher and you are trading against the trend but it's not in a range bound market we're still in a trending market so we actually wouldn't go ahead and take this zone even though it could very well work we we're just looking to go ahead and trade these demand zones now let's go ahead and talk about setups here so this first one here is a great example of the uh, trending setup and what we'd like to look for on newly created zones. So remember, we had two, two ones. We had the old zones that we could go ahead and trade, and we have newly created zones. Now, this would be considered the old zone here at this point. This setup would be the newly created zone. So if I were to go ahead and back up, all right, we have this zone that's created here. What we need for the trade, the newly created zone, is we need price to go ahead and move out of this zone here and then move back into the zone. Okay, so let's go change that to yellow. So again, you want to move out and then back into the zone. All right, and we don't need just price to simply to move out. We need the whole candle to move out to go ahead and use that first strategy. So again, we're in a trending type of environment here. Let's see, price moves out. We need a candle that's out of it. All right, there we go. All right, so now the, the uh, this is a newly created zone, and we want to go ahead and trade the setup. Now you have the option of doing price action. I would actually park an order here. So you go ahead and park an order right there at the box, put the stop uh, tick or two or three right below the bottom of the box here. And then, again, you have the candle that's clearly outside of the box, and you want to go ahead and trade it. And as you can clearly see, uh, the price comes right back in, so it gives you actually a really nice candle here as well. Uh, you're picks up your order you're instantly in the money so you have the option here either picked up the order there or you wait for price action and get long there again stop here at the bottom of the box and you can see this trade worked out really well now that's how you trade the newly created zone so again if you're seeing this in real time and you're at the far right edge of the chart you see this zone is created just watch price you see that happen park your order or wait for price action here at this point and you can see this trade worked out worked out really well you would have got more, much more than a one to one here. Let's go ahead and see. All right, so this is a pips here. Let's go and change this to ticks. Again, the ratio is one to one. All right, so you're looking at 16 ticks risked, 16 ticks gained. Obviously, could have got two to one, probably here, three to one, probably there. 